Hello, my name is Camilo Aladro. I'm the product manager of the pressure mapping division at TechScan. TechScan is an instrumentation company that's been working on pressure mapping for over 30 years. And today I'm talking about the NIP pressure alignment tool or NPAT, which uses TechScan's patented technology in a new configuration optimized for verifying the alignment of roles in paper manufacturing, converting, film manufacturing, and any other uh, applications that utilize NIPS. So anyone who works with NIPS knows that verifying the alignment of those two roles is extremely important to ensure the integrity of a product. There's a whole bunch of faults that can occur when setting up a machine uh, from roller misalignments to crown deflections or other issues that don't provide a uniform pressure across the length of the rolls. So we're trying to provide uh, an efficient solution to quickly verify the alignment of the rollers and get production up and running as quickly as possible. There are a few techniques out there that uh, are utilized by the industry to verify uh, the roll alignment um, with uh, anything from feeler gauges where the rollers are very close to each other and the uh, feeler gauges are placed between the rolls to verify the gap is uniform down the length. This obviously does not take into account uh, force deflection from the rollers pushing against each other. Uh, another technique utilizes a bunch of strips of material placed between the rolls and then a load cell is used to pull them out and verify that the same amount of force is used across the length of the roll to pull those out. This technique does not work with higher pressures as the material gets stuck in between the nip. One of the more common techniques is using carbon paper or pressure sensitive film. This is cut to length and placed between the rolls and then the rolls are closed uh, to apply load and then opened again, reviewed for that pressure distribution, adjustments are made, and then another piece of material is to place back in to verify that the adjustments were optimal. This can be extremely time consuming as there's many steps taken to take the film in and replace it. Uh, and that process can be uh, dragged out even further if there are safety protocols associated with the machine, uh, like lockout, tagout, for instance. So the NIP pressure alignment tool uh, basically takes a bunch of piezo-resistive uh, sensing bands and places them on an array that can be configured to the size of a roll. And uh, these sensors verify the nip pressure and the nip width along the length of the roller, verifying uniformity. Uh, the system is connected to a PC via USB and provides dynamic feedback to an operator to verify whatever changes are being made are improving uh, the alignment of the machine. So by utilizing this tool, there's a strong cost savings component by ensuring that the rolls are properly configured and there isn't guesswork uh, left into verifying it, which can lead to scrap and excess waste or even damage of the machine. Um, but by preventing downtime, uh, that's really going to improve the productivity of, uh, of the line. Um, the software provides a clear representation uh, with an image of what that nip pressure looks like for each sensing band and then translates that into bar graphs of for total force on each band or what the nip width is. So this gives uh, an operator a measurable gauge on how to repeatedly set up the machine to get good data. And it's really taking the guesswork out of that process. Uh, also, the tool is very reliable. Uh, if with time uh, certain components are damaged from uh, hard use, uh, the sensing bands of the sensor can be replaced in the field, uh, reducing the downtime and keeping a tool that can provide you the data you need when you need it. So the, the NPAT system is actually a configurable sensor. Uh, when a user comes uh, looking for a new system, they can specify the dimensions of their application and the spacing they want of the sensing bands and the system can be configured to their needs. Um, there are a variety of sensing bands to choose from uh, that utilize different pressure ranges uh, for whatever the application needs and also uh, different resolutions in and number of bands in uh, the, the product direction along the NIT. Uh, each sensor band has an interconnect, uh, which is a PCB 
uh, PC board connected to the sensor and uh, a user can disassemble the housing around that and replace a sensing band if uh, damage occurs uh, and quickly get the product up and running again. The carrier sheet that holds all of these sensing bands is a polycarbonate sheet, uh, which makes it easy for two operators uh, to feed the system in between rollers, even on rolls as long as 10 meters long. Uh, it also uh, rolls up cleanly, can be stored in a case that comes with the system. And the nice thing about the polycarbonate sheet is it doesn't uh, remember being in the rolled position. So every time you unroll it, it rolls out flat and ready to use uh, on a long application. All of the components are gasketed to protect them from wet environments. Uh, and the main electronics are in a metal housing to protect them from being dropped or any uh, other uh, issues that would come up in a rugged environment. As you can see, the system is configurable. The, the polycarbonate carrier sheet has holes laser cut in, into it to specify the spacing for the band. So when the system is configured, uh, you're assured that the spacing is consistent and will give you a reliably symmetric measurement. Here we have an image of the software. Uh, what we're showing you on the bottom screen is a snapshot that was taken earlier of a reliably set up uh, pair of uh, NIPs as a reference point. You can see there's a small green border around that sensing area, which correlates to the green bars in the graph below. The image on the top represents the data coming from the sensor in real time. And what we're trying to do is optimize the setting as close to our reference setting um, and the, the sensor data has a red border around it, which correlates to the red graph below. So in real time, we're making those adjustments while looking at our reference points. And then you can see there's a red and white diamond on the side of the screen, and that's showing where the center of force is along the sensing bands. So this makes it very easy for an operator to see if one bearing is uh, loaded heavier than the other side. Now, as we look at some of the faults that we discussed at the beginning of the presentation, you can see the software will give you a clear representation of what kind of fault you're looking at, whether it's the roller misalignment we're showing on the left, and where we can see the center of force is very much on the left side uh, of that setup there, and, and the operator has a clear indicator of what adjustments need to be made, or perhaps the image on the right where the crown is misaligned or uh, there's just a heavy crown and perhaps uh, the roll needs to be taken off and machined before a production run starts and generates uh, a lot of scrap in, in that application. So as you can see, the tool gives you some clear indicators of uh, what needs to be done and what faults can appear uh, on the roll surface. So I want to thank you for your time today. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about the NPAT or schedule a product demonstration, please visit us at our website.